Good morning. May is traditionally the month of Mother's Day in America, and for us Catholics, it is also the month that we suffer, that we honor another mother, our spiritual mother, Mary. Some Catholic parishes choose the day to host a devotion in America called Day Prayer. We have chosen this day to crown Mary.
and family members. So as we acknowledge the presence of God among us, let's take a moment of silence and acknowledge our sins and ask Him for forgiveness. Yes, excellent advice I give you, but teaching you do not forsake. When I was my father's child, frail like the daughter of my mother, he taught me and said to me, Let your heart hold fast my words. Keep my commands that you may live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget or turn aside from the words I utter. Forsake her not, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will safeguard you. The beginning of wisdom is get wisdom. At the cost of all you have, get understanding. The word of the Lord. A reading from the book of Revelation. Something important appeared in the sky. It was a woman whose clothes were the sun. The moon was under her feet. In a crown of was twelve stars of her head. So today we are as a family, all the family of our school families here today together. Maybe I can ask you, all those communicants, if you could please stand. And all of us as a family, let's give them a round of applause. to be part of your life, not only to 
today and tomorrow, but forever. And, and as you allow God to be part of your life, He is going to help you to, to do the right things, to be committed to your school, to respect and honor your parents and your, and your, and your teachers. So, again, and a simple invitation for us today, allowing God to be part of our life. And another way how we are allowing God to be part of our life is by coming together to be with our mother and to celebrate May Kwame. That's another concrete way of allowing God to be part of our lives. And as we do this, we are also telling God how excited, how joyful, how happy we are to have Him as part of our life. For our Holy Mother, the Church, that in unison with Mary, they may proclaim the wonderful works of God and make His mercy known to all the nations. For He cast out the mighty from their thrones and raises up the lowly, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Our Pope Francis promised to mention all bishops that priests, religious, and laity, that the Lord will continue to strengthen the people of God, especially here at St. Clemens. We pray.